Welcome to this special corporate access. I am Zinati Guma. Now, COVID-19 has forced people globally to become more innovative and to be adaptive. In an already fast-paced world where we increasingly rely on technology and digital channels for convenience such as online services, industries had to step up and change their operations and customer experiences. The banking sector is no exception. With increased online activities, our banks streamlining their operations towards cloud technology more than ever. Javier Ermida, Head of Digital for Africa and the Middle East at Temenos, joins me in studio to delve deeper into this. Thank you so much for joining me, Javier. Now, uh, Temenos' tagline is Making Banking Better. Tell me about your role in Africa and how far that reach goes. Yeah, so... You know, it goes well beyond Africa, right? So we globally, our reach, you could say about 1.2 billion people globally, when they bank, they interact with Temenos software in some way. And that's about 30% of the globally banked population. Um, and and the, the digital angle of this is that it basically makes banking better by creating better digital customer experiences. Mm. Um, it brings forward opportunities around AI analytics that help with convenience and time to market. And in Africa, we work with north of 160 banks. And if you think about some of those customers benefit of some of these experiences of being able to partake in the digital economy, mm. to do some of the banking away from the branch, and that's become key in the era of COVID. Mm. Just talking about that, I mean, how deep has that impact been of COVID-19 on the banking sector? We do know that it's not just a health issue, it is an economic issue. What is the new normal for banking going to look like? So a lot's changed, right? And I, I spoke about branches and Africa was highly branch reliant for, for a long, long time. And, and there's a new paradigm of customers demand access to, to banking mm. through their means away from the branch, right? So we see a huge increase in the consumption of digital services. And it's not just individuals, but it's also happening with businesses. Interestingly, even more so than individual retail users, right? And so we see a, a new paradigm of a demand and a requirement for digital services going forward. Uh, I mean, uh, banks who already uh, adapted to the new modern technology really pivoted a lot better than other banks. Um, and I mean, are you seeing a trend? Are you going to see a trend uh, more towards the move to cloud uh, in Africa? Absolutely. And this is something that began probably three to five years ago. A lot of African banks asking questions about how do we leverage the opportunities in cloud, right? And in recent times, certainly in the last one or two years, there's no conversation we're having with an, an African bank at the moment that doesn't contain a big degree of what can you do around cloud? Where is your future strategy for cloud? And how will you get us there when we're ready for it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and this is key in a space that is looking to leverage the opportunities. In many African countries, there's challenges around accessing and leveraging resourcing, right? So if you can't get resources to run and manage your own data center, cloud becomes compelling, right? Because you're able to access best of breed and consume it on your, on your own terms. Mm -hmm. And so we see that there's some opportunities here, for instance, around the microfinance sector, right? So we have a, a customer in South Africa that has leveraged cloud and made full use of it, specifically around the pandemic. Now, traditionally, they were serving in the region of one and a half million customers mm. in branches through a network of about 200 branches. Mm. And the pandemic changed that, right? So suddenly the branches were shut. And so they had to pivot around the opportunity of how to bring services digitally. Mm -hmm. And running on Terminal SaaS, they were able to uncover an opportunity of redesigning the customer experience, building a brand new digital lending service in just 12 weeks. They went on to launch it about three months later. Mm -hmm. And this was critical because it suddenly brought their customers the opportunity to still access for finance, even though they couldn't get to branches, right? Mm -hmm. And if you think about where some of those customers lived in rural areas, you know, traditionally, they had to travel far distances to access mm. finance, right? So this really was transformative for a large degree of the population. Mm. Now, we're talking about banks that are using cloud and uh, software as a service more uh, in their business models. And we do know that banking is highly regulated. How is this going to affect the future, especially now that they're using cloud and software as a service, uh, incorporating them into their business models? You know, regulation is a key question in banking, right? And and banking is one of the last industries to finally make the move to cloud. Manufacturing and retail have been doing this for a long time. 
I mean, we've been working with some banking clients that have been doing the cloud thing for about 10 years already, but obviously on the African continent, it's a new thing. And this new thing is limited in large part by, by regulators. And the regulators are moving quickly around this. You know, we're beginning to see policy shift. Uh, we're, is, you know, we're addressing issues around data sovereignty and security. And that's really positive for the future of the space. Um, the, real, the real opportunity here comes from customers demanding these services, right? Because ultimately, that lines up with what the regulator needs to achieve, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of making, making banking better and inclusive and easier to access. So there's some real opportunities there. Uh, it's very interesting that basically you're saying that regulators have to align with what the customers want and it is indeed about the customer. Now just in terms of the success that you see uh, with using cloud and software as a service in the banking sector, who are the early adopters here? So we're seeing some mid-tier to larger banks um, move some of their workloads first on occasion entire lines of business, right? Um, we're also seeing the challenger banks and the fintechs kind of moving really, really quickly. So these are the guys that are really consuming it up front because there's no legacy to contend with. So you see them launching entire operations on cloud, right? And that's very interesting. Um, we have a customer in West Africa, Orange Bank Africa, that leverage Temenos SaaS to, to go to market with very quick value proposition to take mobile um, account opening, account deposits, and lending services to their customers. And cloud plays a key role there because they have big ambitions to grow that business across uh, Mali and Burkina Faso and Senegal and Cote d'Ivoire um, to north of 10 million users over five years. And you really need to kind of leverage elasticity and flexibility of cloud to do that, right? So, so then we see where cloud is really an enabler around the African context to bring services to the people. Quite interesting. I was actually talking to a market analyst the other day, and he actually said that banks now are going to be tech, tech companies in the future. And I thought that was very, very interesting. But I mean, with this, um, you know, what advantages are you seeing uh, in the banking sector by using this uh, digital first approach? So there's, there's a flexibility to, to move quickly to opportunity or challenges, right? Mm -hmm. And the pandemic really highlighted that. If you think about, the pandemic was a, a highlight for cloud as an opportunity, even outside of banking. Uh, many of us had to suddenly start working from home. Mm -hmm. And cloud-first companies like Zoom were able to move, what, maybe 10 million daily users to quickly expand that to 300 million daily users over a period of three or four months. Cloud was an enabler there, right? Mm -hmm. And then in the evenings, we were all binge watching Netflix. Yeah. So the speed to adapt and change is key there, right? So the future of digital is entirely agile, right? And the idea is that SaaS will support with resources when they're needed. It's, a, it's kind of the Uber moment for, for data centers and resources that were previously constrained. So the idea is that agile methodologies will really get you to um, leverage the best of two worlds, best mm -hmm. of what's available on a pay as you need and pay as you use basis. What advice would you give uh, to someone in the banking sector and the fi uh, financial institution uh, considering making the move uh, to this uh, digital journey to the cloud? So there's some big questions to ask here, right? Um, are you ready to change from top down, top to bottom, right? This is, th the, the direction is less important than the, co the continual and right through change that is required in organizations to kind of be a part of this because it's not just tech that we're changing here, right? It's, it's business processes, it's how we take products to market, it's how we innovate, it's how we, it's how we pivot around opportunity and challenge, right? Mm -hmm. So one is get commitment from the top and commitment from the bottom and get buy-in right across the organization. And that's a much bigger challenge than getting the tech right. There are some opportunities beyond that. Mm -hmm. Um, for instance, aligning, uh, aligning costs to revenue streams, mm -hmm. right? So if you think about traditionally capital expenditure around providing resourcing uh, was a big thing. Mm -hmm. But cloud on a subscription model allows banks to move to uh, an operational expenditure model, right? Mm -hmm. Which again, lines up cost to revenue streams. But I mean, you talk about this commitment from the top to bottom. How do you get that buy-in? And so, so this buy-in needs to be uh, around the agile opportunities that digital journeys present themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So if you think about establishing a, an end goal, right? And then deciding on what stepping stones you're going to take along that road. And some of those you'll miss, but some of those you need to, you need to stick to, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that journey isn't, 
isn't that daunting? A lot of what's being done today is entirely reusable, right? But it's defining what's the road we're going to take in, what's the team that we need to involve in this, what areas of the organization does it impact, mm -hmm. and let's get on the road and let's gradually make those changes. Yeah, uh, you talk about these changes and you talk about the importance of regulation, uh, regulation and also getting regulators in line with what the customers need. But also at what stage do you actually involve the regulators? Very early on, right? Mm -hmm as early as possible, right? So we've had a lot of experience with, with working in the space with regulators for about the last decade, and that's a lesson learned, right? Mm -hmm. So the regulators are making the right moves, and it's important to understand the, the paradigm that they work in, right? Let's understand the, the restrictions that we got to operate under, and it's easy to plot that journey if we bring them on early on. Any downsides to moving to cloud and uh, SaaS? If you're going to miss the past, then maybe, right? You can <laughs> be nostalgic about how it was. Yeah. Um, there are really huge opportunities in cloud. You know, mm. the, 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 the idea of being able to consume on as a need basis, this idea of consuming on a subscription basis, mm. it's an entirely new opportunity. The flexibility opportunities, the elasticity of being able to scale services without worrying about, are we ready for it? Mm. Exactly. But now also at the same time, you say that, uh, you know, people, n there's no need to worry about getting ready for it. But what preparation uh, do financial institutions need to make to at least get to a point where they are comfortable into moving to cloud and, and, and uh, software as a service? And so it really goes back to defining a, a journey, right? Mm -hmm. and, and defining a, a, an interim goal, right, that says, where do we want to get to? And it's about delivering a requirement that is, is evolved around the customer. So customer centricity is key, right? So we put the customer at the center of everything we do. And then we work backwards and we say, what processes, what designs do we need to bring to that? And then what enablers do we need to fulfill to do that? If we keep customer at the center of the ultimate deliverable, we'll, we'll find a path to that, right? Mm -hmm. And cloud is just an enabler, right? It's not, the, it's not the, only, the only technology that needs to play in this. It's really an enabler to allow the organizations to make the changes required to pivot around challenges and opportunities mm -hmm. on the way to a digital journey. Indeed, it takes everyone now to be involved in this process into making banking better. Thank you so much for your insights, uh, Javier. Uh, thank you for that. That was uh, Javier Hermida, uh, the head of uh, digital for Africa and the Middle East at Temenos. Thank you very much for joining us on this corporate access special on CNBC Africa. From me, Zanati Guma, it's goodbye for now.